More Terraria Labor of Love spoilers? More Terraria Labor of Love spoilers. When? Right now. Greetings, friends. Chaos here. Well, they've done it again. Relogic reached out to me and asked if I'd like to show off another feature coming in the Labor of Love update, and this time I am joined by the lovely Cheesy Panini. Hey, y'all! It's me, Cheesy Panini, and I'm taking over this channel. It's mine. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, fine. I'm, I'm just taking over a part of the segment. Anyway, this video is going to contain building related spoilers for the coming update. You have been warned. If you are a veteran of my channel, you'll know that I've been pushing to get an invisible or echo paint for a while now. And when the paint discussion came up on Twitter a couple of months ago, I jumped in with a video detailing why I would love to see echo paint replace illuminant paint and how we could possibly get the best of both worlds. Since then, you may have seen that Relogic has posted a spoiler revealing echo coating. If you haven't, strap in because you are in for a treat. Relogic took our debates to heart and came up with an amazing solution to the problem. And today, Cheesy and I are going to take a closer first-hand look at it. But it goes so much further than just echo coding. I'll let Cheesy explain. I bet you expect me to show you guys some uses for echo coding, but you'd be dead wrong! Because there are actually two types of coding. Introducing Illuminant Coding. Illuminant coating is basically just illuminant paint, but instead of it only being applied to the base color of an item, it can now be put on top of other paints as well. So how can I use this majestic coating the devs have graced us with? Why is this a big deal? Well, my friend, I'll show you. With the luminant paint, you can remove all shadow effects from the item it's painted on, making it appear as if it was glowing in dark areas or at night. This has become some builders' go-to paint for making items and blocks stand out, allowing them to make 3D looking builds. However, because it can only be painted on the base color for so long, it has a very niche use. But now that it has evolved into illuminant coating, the range of colors that you can now work with have greatly increased. You can paint something yellow and put coating right on top of it to make it all bright and glowy. The amount of shades you can use greatly increases as well, and under the right conditions, you can get this many shades of gray. But what about my belts with illuminant paint? What happens to those? You'll be happy to know that once the update comes, everything that was once painted with aluminum paint will be replaced with aluminum coating, keeping your build safe and intact. Now back to chaos. Similar to illuminant coating, echo coating works in tandem with paint. This means anything that you build, even if you use colored paints, can then be made invisible with echo coating. To see the blocks again, you can wear spectre goggles, or you could use the brand new echo chamber. This furniture item is crafted with echo blocks, wire, and gray bricks at a heavy workbench, and it functions like all of the monoliths in the game do. Activating this bad boy will reveal all echo blocks, walls, and platforms. Yes, they also added walls and platforms, as well as displaying any item that has echo coating on it, so long as your character remains within range of the echo chamber. Walk too far away and you'll lose the ability to see those blocks. Even better, the echo chamber can be toggled via wiring. But chaos, I hear you all protesting. If they've added echo coating, why do we need echo platforms and walls? Well, they look good. But furthermore, intentionally or not, echo walls function very differently than walls that have been covered in echo coating. Allow me to explain. Echo coating doesn't just make blocks, walls, and furniture invisible. It makes them function as if they're not there at all. See this square pile of dirt blocks? Everything is blended together in the middle, as you would expect. If the block was simply to turn invisible, you would expect to see hard lines at the blending points, kind of like what you see when you actuate the block. 
but when you use echo coating, the invisible block no longer blends with the visible blocks. Instead of simply turning the block invisible, making that awkward blending line where the two points meet, echo coating makes a block act as if it's not there at all. This is also the case with walls. If I echo coat the center of this window, it will look the same as if I had removed the walls with a hammer. And this is where echo walls bring a whole new level of potential to the mix. Echo walls and platforms are simply invisible. They will still blend with other walls and platforms around them. This can be extremely useful. Background walls usually take up a slightly larger area than one block, which can make the walls stick out at times. Now you can place echo walls right up against any problem wall that you might have poking out and essentially it will shrink down in size. And a bit of an additional tip, while background walls with echo coating are treated as invisible, they also cause the walls next to them to try and create this line that you often see between walls. So if we paint a background wall that's a different wall type than the ones around it, echo, we will not only get the gap from the wall being invisible, but we'll get an additional line where the walls would normally blend, which could be pretty interesting for different designs in walls. Experiment around with it. There's quite a bit you could do with this. That covers what echo coating is and how it differs from echo blocks and walls, but maybe you're not sure why you would even want to use echo coating. A comment I often get from my viewers when I talk about the possibility of an invisible paint is, what is the point of having something in your build that you can't even see? And that's a good question. Let me give you a few examples of the unique uses for echo coating. Say you're trying to build a boat and you want to have an anchor at the bottom of the chain. Well, anchors can only be placed on background walls and that would normally detract from the look of the anchor. That's no longer an issue, just make the walls invisible. Using the same boat example, let's say we want to make it so it looks like it's either docked or sailing. Build the boat, place the sails, and then hit them with some echo coating. Now those sails can either be placed or removed with a flick of a switch. Or take the enchanted sword shrine setup that I made in my Rebel Maker video. To get rid of the rocks, simply use echo coating along the bottom half of the tiles, making them invisible. Then take a bamboo fence with some white paint and place it right under the hilt of the enchanted sword, and now it looks like the sword is just sitting in the blocks beneath it, rather than inside of a pile of rocks. Do you want to use music boxes, but you hate seeing music notes no matter where you've hidden the box? Echo coating makes that problem literally and figuratively disappear. Want to light a room with torches without actually having to see them? Echo coating gets rid of them and their pesky particles, but it keeps the light. But wait, you might be saying, if echo coating prevents block particles from forming, what about things like chimneys and fog machines? Those are great for environmental ambience, but I want to be able to make the furniture items invisible. Fear not, Relogic thought this through thoroughly. Torches and music boxes won't release anything, but fog machines, chimneys, bubble machines, silly bloom machines, and even leaf and mahogany leaf blocks will emit all of their particles, which allows us a ton of different environmental options without having to hide blocks or furniture that don't fit. As I mentioned before, echo coating works with colored paints, so you don't need to worry about changing how a build looks to make it invisible. But even better, this also applies to illuminate coating. That's right, you can use a colored paint, illuminate coating, and echo coating all on a single block. You can make a fully painted build that is invisible, but will glow in the dark when you activate it with the echo chamber. So that's Echo and Illuminate Coating in their entirety. Now I'm going to work on a small build using what I've learned about these new coatings. I'm going to use Echo and Illuminate Coating to help me detail a wizard tower in the forest. I know, I know, two videos in a row and I'm still building in the freaking forest. Just hear me out. I guarantee you're going to like what I have in store here. While I work on that, there's something that we want to say. 
We would love to thank Relogic for giving us a chance to see the update early and even let us give our own inputs as they worked on it. It has been quite exciting seeing things behind the scenes and I really look forward to everyone getting their hands on these new stuff. I can't wait to see what builders would make with them since there's a whole lot more things for builders in this update. We really do appreciate you all thinking of the building community so much and including us in the pre-update hype. And we cannot thank you enough for the opportunity to get a first look at these wonderful new mechanics. And now the forest is done. I hope you like it. What? What, what do you mean, tower? I, I said I was planning on building a tower? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I guess I did. Wait, what is that lever? As you can see, Echo Coding can have oh so much potential, and I'm extremely excited to have this new mechanic in an already wonderful game. The Labor of Love is a truly deserved reward for Relogic, having delivered with Terraria time and time again, and this update sharing that title is even more fitting. Let us know in the comments what you are most looking forward to in 1.4.4, and be sure to swing by Cheesy Panini's YouTube channel for another pre-update video linked in the description below. A huge thank you to my biggest supporters for the month. Matt Dragon, Nate Wiley, Hippic3, Duke Samron, and Nick Peasley. And be sure to check out my channel artist, Mythical Water. Her channel is linked in the description below. Thank you all very much for watching. Take it easy, stay cheesy. <clears throat> I think you mean happy building.